What's up guys? In this video, I want to show you how to live stream on Amazon. This video is for both sellers on Amazon and also brands and vendors who have their products sold on Amazon. Let's do it. So there's actually three different types or groups of people who can live stream directly on Amazon. And the cool thing about it is you can show up on Amazon's homepage and the new Amazon live streaming section. Now, if you're a seller, you can log into uh, this app. This is the Amazon Live Creator app using your Seller Central ID. If you are a vendor and you have access to an Amazon advertising console, you can advertise and live stream on behalf of your products that are available on Amazon and registered with Amazon Brand Registry, and you can advertise all of the ASINs that are connected to your brand through Brand Registry. And you can also sign up as a Amazon influencer and use live streaming to actually make money off of the products that you're live streaming using the Amazon Influencer Program. Let's take a look at how this works. So when it comes to live streaming on Amazon, you can use your smartphone or you can use an external camera source. And what that means is an RTMP stream from OBS, Wirecast, vMix, Mimo Live, etc. As you can see, I'm here in our live streaming studio. We have a four camera setup. So I'm going to live stream to Amazon using an RTMP URL and secret key using vMix, which we'll show you in a minute. Now, the cool thing about live streaming on Amazon is that they actually have tiers where they reward you for providing live video content to their platform and they provide different tiers of engagement and activity. So right now I'm just starting to live stream for our brand on Amazon. So I'm in the entry level rising star category. Now from rising star, I can upgrade to an insider and get a, a long list of benefits in the insider platform, but I must live stream for 90 minutes. Now, um, there's a lot of great upgrades that it will do, including having your um, live stream appear directly on the Amazon Live site, both in relevant product categories and in the Live Now row. Plus, we get um, another opportunity to become a Amazon A-lister Okay, this is the Amazon A-lister insider benefit, which give you special access to Amazon Live events and opportunities, priority support from Amazon Live creator team, and you get the el eligible to show up in the rising star and insider placements on Amazon. So these are the different categories. They encourage you to use live streaming. And there's some guidelines on being professional, having good lighting, clear audio, and obviously a professional presentation of your products, they encourage you to be live streaming, not live streaming pre-recorded content, but you can uh, refer to recorded videos inside of your live stream. Let me show you our tech setup behind the scenes, and I wanna encourage you guys to get started live streaming on Amazon. So Prime Day is coming up soon, so we've been working on getting our Amazon live streaming studio ready to go. And I wanted to just show a little bit of how this is set up. Uh, we're using vMix here, and you can see we can kind of zoom in and frame our shot the way we want. We have the ability to kind of cut away to a cross shot um, of the products, which is always nice. And then another close up of the product. So we've got basically one camera in the front and then a camera on the left and right. And these are all PTZ optics cameras, which are remotely controllable. And then we also have finally a ceiling camera. And I'm just so happy with the way that this turned out. It's a lot of white colors and crisp niceness that you see a lot on Amazon, but also it's really affordable. So we have four PTZ optics cameras, one, Windows computer running vMix, the whole thing can be live streamed directly to Amazon. And you know, for a very affordable price, you can have like a QVC style looking show. So take a look at some of our other videos, learn how to set up a studio yourself. I'll link to a few of them below. Let me know if you're using Amazon to live stream. 
All right, guys, jumping in with just a little bit of extra information here about Amazon live streaming. I'm so excited about it. I already got a chance to live stream on the platform. Was very excited about how many live viewers were coming. And when people are on Amazon, they're in a buying mood. So it's very easy to convert from a live streaming perspective, viewers into buyers. And that is a powerful thing. So again, if you're a seller, if you're a brand, or if you're an influencer, this is something you should be looking at. It's all about driving sales to products that you sell or represent, whether you represent them as the brand, as a reseller, or as an influencer where you can also monetize those opportunities. Now, we're still in the rising star level, so it'd be interesting when we get to insider level and hopefully maybe the A-lister level where we have to live stream for a thousand minutes and sell over $5,000, but I think we can do it, so I'm excited to do so. One of the things I wanted to share was the best practices here. You do need to follow these community guidelines, and I even tried to uh, bend the rules a little bit and I got caught. So don't forget to stream for at least 30 minutes. Don't forget to engage your audience. Remember that you're here to sell. So you have to have a call to action. You should probably be showing your products in action, not just talking about them, but really showing them and how they work. You should be promoting the live stream off of Amazon. Okay, so social media, email. Obviously, Amazon will bring customers to you, but they want you to grow the audience uh, with your email list and your social media. And then a uh, live stream when you've got a special deal or promotion. Now, uh, five megabits per second is what they are saying they want from a... Um, a quality perspective. So think about that. You do need to have a decent internet connection for that and plan and practice because they will be actually looking at your content and deciding whether or not it's good enough quality for Amazon and whether or not you're going to get into some of these special categories. So if you're getting started, you need to get this app. It's the Amazon creator app and it's only available for iOS. That's kind of a bummer if you're an Android person. Set up your phone for Do Not Disturb, charge your phone, and don't leave that creator app until the live stream is over. Now, something I did want to share today is that on this little app here, uh, if I go back to the creator app, where are we here? Um, let me go to my creator app. Um, if we go to uh, starting a live stream, you can click this video source area here, right? and you can set it for external camera. And what that will do is it will give you your URL and stream key. You can actually just have that message it to you. You can message it to yourself. And then that is how you connect OBS, Wirecast, or vMix into Amazon's live streaming setup. Um, there's a product carousel. And that, if I wanna show this really quickly, that kind of shows up down here. So, Think about using that product carousel. So if you're talking about multiple products or if you're talking about, you know, different things, customers can just click and buy. And so I think that's the main thing with Amazon is they want people to click and buy. The more people that click and buy, the more people that Amazon will send to you in their live streaming platform. It's all about driving sales and that's how the algorithm is set up. Now, uh, just moving forward here on those best practices, um, don't, uh, let's see, set up the promotions to display. You can display promotions in text below. And this is an example here. Obviously, there's a chat room there. And, you know, this is an example of the upcoming streams. So I highly recommend scheduling your Amazon live streams because they'll promote them as upcoming. And you can kind of get that waiting room. You get your link. And then you, that's how you can really email it out to everyone. So I'm super excited about this. My final tips are, don't forget to schedule your stream, have a professional audio, professional studio, have good lighting, have good video and audio, and then take a look at our back to basics live streaming tutorial guide, which helps you choose cameras, microphones, lighting, backdrop for your set. Because this is a money-making thing at this point, and it's, it's worth looking good. And uh, if you're going to be making money with live streaming, whether it's for yourself or your brand or a brand that you work with. So that's all. Let me know what you think in the comments below. And thanks for watching. Take care, guys. Bye.